Judy, in the thick air clouding Gaza streets, there is a race against time tonight to find wounded residents and a desperate search for missing Americans, some believed to be held hostage. Among those from the U.S., a suburban Chicago native and mother of five children, all of them trying to survive and looking to American officials and the I-team for help getting out of Gaza. Mr. Gowdy, you've got to help do something for the Americans through no fault of their own are stuck in Gaza. Tonight, longtime Chicagoan John Rauschenberger wants his daughter out of Gaza, where Israel continues to fire missiles at Hamas terror control positions after last weekend's sneak attack. His daughter, 42-year-old Emily, her husband, and their five young children were all in Gaza visiting in-law relatives who operate an olive farm, a holiday that ended with a war. How has your daughter described this over the days specifically for them? Harrowing told to hunker down where they're at, not to move. Immediately, they got rockets back from Israel. To Israel's credit, the IDF, and Israel Defense Force, they alert areas before they vomit. They give you 60 to 90 minutes to get out. In Gaza since Saturday, the family has moved from one safe house to another and now one more, trying to get to the Rafah border crossing into Egypt if Israeli officials allow them to leave. As war here rages, Rauschenberger has appealed twice to the U.S. State Department to help evacuate his daughter and other stranded Americans from Gaza. When I talked at the State Department a second time, they said again, this is 72 hours ago, we still have no formal plan to exit Americans out of Gaza, you're on your own. My biggest fear is being, uh, if they're not getting gotten out, is uh, the collateral damage of the bombs. I know your grandchildren are young, but have you been able to speak to the older ones? Oh yeah, yeah, the 13 and 11 year olds. Yeah, yeah. What, what, well, do, you, what do you pretty... say to them? I mean, what do you say to a 13 year old about what's happening? I say, you know, this is incredibly unfortunate. You need to stay strong. You need to support your mom and dad. You need to listen to them. Always good advice. Tonight, a State Department official tells the I-team that talks are underway with Israel and Egypt for an evacuation of Americans trapped by the war. Deputy National Security Advisor John Finer now saying humanitarian corridors and safe zones would be among the options to get out of Gaza. But they're up against the clock. Logistics, incredible stuff that they're dealing with there. And you're dealing with human lives all along the way. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.